Hello everyone and welcome to another PWN Design Studio Discovering Geoglyph video. In this video we're going to be talking about the Perlin River macro. Uh, and what this is, is it's supposed to give you good close-up results of a river uh, and its banks and whatnot and the shores of that river and whatnot. So, um, and from what I've seen so far, it does a really good job at cutting out your landscape for you and giving you something that you could use as a starting point for your river and as indeed it does look really good up close you're gonna have to do a little bit of modification just like anything else in world machine you're gonna have to put some uh, creativity to your um, device but for a starting point this is a good good place to start so I will just throw in the default one because that um, is pretty much what the picture is that's the default and the default is a really good starting point as well so if I build this um, you can see a shore and a you know a place for your river and whatnot and you'll have to use tools to carve that out and make it more of your own but there you go so I'm just gonna show you the different settings of this Pearly River, is that what it called? It's what's yeah, the Perlin River. So I'm not gonna put it with anything else and show you how you would use it with other devices. I'm just gonna show you the different settings. So, and here's just the scale, blah blah blah. Here's the shore. Uh, if you decrease it, there are more mountain points. Uh, it looks like peaks get a little bit higher and the shore gets smaller. And if you turn it up, those peaks go away and the shore gets a little bit larger. Complexity is just the complexity of your um, your fractal and your noise. However, your if you have your shore down a little bit of a ways, you'll see bigger changes, as you can see. And if you have it down a lot, you can really see some changes in the uh, fractal complexity. And then there's the seed, and the seed just changes it up. And every time it changes the seed, there's a a little bit of a place for you where you can see where you can put your river but again like I said it's gonna take a little bit of playing with to get the actual results you want with a river but as a plug-and-play macro it tends to do I can see it doing its job rather well and relatively quickly um, you also get these really cool different uh, recursive striations on the mountains around it. it's kinda like there was a river flowing there so even the fractal itself that it's being used to generate these little riverbeds um, is really nice looking. They're really high quality. Looks like they put a lot of time into creating them and whatnot. So uh, just like its uh, description says, it's meant for close-up shots of your, your river. So that is the Perlin River. Now the next one is the Perlin Wave. Now this one, if we go ahead and read that one, is expanding Geoglyph's roster of basic generation generators. Perlin Wave adds a soft, undulating new Perlin-based generator. This macro can be used to supplement or replace World Machine's fundamental Perlin and Voronoi devices. For even greater variety, Perlin Wave works seamlessly with other potent Geoglyph generators. So. This, what they're saying is that you can use this macro instead of using these other macros like the uh, Perlin Noise and the Advanced Perlin and the Voronoi. Which, you know, if you can, that's great. I don't see why you couldn't. So there's scale, yeah, blah, 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 scale. And then there's seed, yeah, blah, 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 there's seed. That's pretty much all there is to this macro. There's not too much there. I mean, it's it's your basic, it's your basic fractal noise, except it except it looks really good. It has um, these really nice wavy uh, formations to it. So I would probably use this in a lot of my renders rather than the um, basic uh, advanced fractal inside of World Machine. But I mean, this doesn't necessarily destroy its purpose. So I would just, you know, I would just use this a lot more just because you get these nice wavy look to your landscape which you'll see a lot in in nature some distortion which you don't find in the advanced perlin so I'm just gonna hook up an erosion node to it 
if it would light let me and we're just going to do a good with terraces and let's go ahead and build that and it says it works really well with other generators as it should because it's just a you know a regular Perlin noise and here you go you just throw some um, erosion on there and you can get a good looking landscape just like that super easy so let's try mixing this with something else like um, Ridge because we've already talked about Ridge I believe maybe it was uh, something else well in any case let's hook it up to Ridge oops we want a combiner there we go and we're just going to put this at screen and let's play with the uh, changes here and play with the ridge we'll turn it down and we'll turn warping up and let's change the seed to like this one right the one that was going across the entire terrain looked good we'll use this one so there's our ridges or maybe not screen, maybe average might do it. No? What about add? Add definitely adds it. <laughs> Max. It's kind of hard to find what you really want to use. Maybe screen is the best one that we can use right now. But let's keep it at 50 or 0.5 and let's just play with the wave. Uh, the scale is all the way down, but let's change the seed. Again, there's that weird issue with, okay, that's interesting. So let's take this, turn the warp up a little bit in the scale. Let's keep the scale down. Okay, now you can kind of see where that pearly wave is coming in at. Okay, so that looks good. Let's go ahead and build this. That's that uh, really weird uh, indentation in the uh, landscape there. So this might look pretty cool. Yeah, whoa, that's interesting. Nice big open area right there. And that is definitely a ridge. So I like this actually. This looks really good. You can definitely see that uh, Perlin wave happening right here. And then the ridge is just going around the outside of that. So that kind of lined up perfectly. I'm going to go ahead and save this. So I might export this out into view, do a render with it. But I'm going to hook this up to NeoFlow. If it'll let me. There we go. No, that's over erosion. I want Neo Flow. So apparently there's a bug inside of a geoglyph where I'm, it's not letting me select Neo Flow, and every time I do it, brings up over erosion or what does it bring up? Yeah, over erosion. So I don't even don't even know what that is, but it gives me these different. I know what it is, I just don't know why it's doing that, but I like the way this looks. I'm going to keep it, um, I'll keep the safe file anyway, so when ne uh, NeoFlow does decide to work, then you know, we'll be able to do something with it. But anyway, there's Perlin Wave and Ridge, and I'm pretty sure I've talked about Ridge already, uh, but then there's Perlin Wave, which I really like the way this gives you these cool different results. And I, d I like how this just lined up perfectly, almost. Just a little bit off, but that's okay. Um, I want to thank you for watching. Please rate, comment, subscribe, share. You know, do what, do your thing. Um, you can visit www.pwndesign.com for more 3D goodness. Thank you, and have a nice day.